Hello, welcome back. Last time I made a puzzle possible by holding it on a reagent for as long as possible. Let's make some lamplight gas. Looks pretty simple, but what's the catch? Well, first catch is its production alchemy. One field of this size. Catch is my product and reagents are both kind of big. So I might be doing a similar thing here to what I did last time. Um. Oh, this is silly. I just have to reverse the bonds. Oh. So check it. I don't have to peel this orange at all. Just gotta unbond, unbond, un... well... Actually, I'd probably want to bond, bond, bond. Unbond, unbond, unbond. Oh, cool! This is neat! Lamplight gas precursor, lamplight gas. Okay. That's neat. Alright, so... Oh. Wait, those are glyphs. No, wait, where's my... Oh. I'm not allowed to unbond! Oh, okay! I have to transmute with... Do, what? Whoa. You want me to do this a super weird way. Okay, I get it. This is very strange, but I can totally do it pretty trivially? I think? Uh, sort of. I'm gonna need some track here. That's fine. Something like that. Okay, so, uh... This is very strange. So what's going to end up happening is I have to calcify, like say, calcify this. Then get like that salt. I need like a, okay, well I can do that. Let's just see what it looks like to do this. So you calcify, then I would like... Oh, well, okay, you're going to be like that. Of course you are. Um, all right, you go away for a moment. So it could maybe look something like this. So I'd grab, turn left. Turn right, pivot right, pivot right, turn left. What's that going to do? Maybe something if I turn this around. Whoa. This is confusing. Okay, so that's a lot weirder than I expected. Uh, What would this look like? Better. And in fact, if I'm doing that, I don't need this. Okay. However... That doesn't really do what I want. Like, what effect exactly would this have? Everything is air except for... So I need to maintain some fire. Okay, so for one thing, I can't have that calcification there. So you're gonna grab... Calcify a little more carefully. Um, let's just do this one step at a time. Take it a little slow. So I calcify a fire, then I do this. And now that fire is air, okay. The 
This is very strange. Um... All right, so I've wiped out two of the fires by doing this. I keep the third for that transmutation. No, that's not what I want, is it? Well, it's what I'm going to have to get, isn't it? Wait, how the heck? Okay, so, like, I think that's another simpler option. I could just take two of these. So that I wouldn't have to maintain... I think I might just have to take two of those. Use one for transferring while the other one... plays a different role. Well, now, hold on. Could I do this one thing at a time? So if I calcify either one, I'm going to have the same thing on both sides of it. Okay, here's an idea. Let's, I'm, I don't know, I'm just in the play around phase. I'm going to calcify most of these, then just walk this along. No, that makes no sense, right? It's sure I could spread the fire to here, but then that would only give me fire to spread to here. If I need to actually change them... Yeah, I think by far the simplest is going to be... Um, just uh, this. I'm going to do the simple thing right now. So if I do the simple thing, I will need calcification. That's totally fine. Um, not yet. Okay, so if I grab left minus extend reset, that did a thing I didn't really want it to do. Not really sure how to avoid that. Maybe I could like well, of course that doesn't. That's acceptable, I think. Then I could pivot right if I wanted to, and I think I do want to, just because it'll keep things a little simpler. And I can indeed reach the center of that, which I'll need to do. Okay, this is, has some promise. Alright, so I have a fire starter here. make this all salt. Oh, of course you do. What about this instead? Well, you're holding by the wrong thing for that to be possible. So there's some fire. Uh, you know, since I'm not really super paying attention to cost here, let's just uh, make this a little more straightforward. Let's 
see if that does what I think it might. Uh. Nope, it's going to be super awkward no matter what. All right, well, let's discard that then. If it's going to be awkward, it might as well be cheap and awkward. Whoa, whoa, slow down. These all need to change. Uh, you know what would be a whole lot less awkward? This. So this just becomes another plus, I think. That becomes a left. Right. I can't plus. No, I just can't fit it there. Well, actually, maybe I can. Um, okay, so hang on. So if you're here... That's legal, yes. Then you plus, and then if you do this, what happens? Um, mm. Can I pivot right first? I cannot. I just have no way to get it into that position. If I turn left, that pops up. Well, I have a way. Uh, I just don't like it. Because that pops up. So, no, wait. All right, that's fine. I'll just deal with it like this. Uh, so I think that'll make another fire in the appropriate place. Yeah, so fire's the ones that are not bonded to the salt. Great. That's totally fine. Yes, yeah, so this is like a little miniature Van Burla's wheel. Uh, I'm not using this space anymore, so I don't need it. So this means... Whoops, 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 whoops. This means I can do this again and get all my fires. Cool. Stick it back over there. Release left, minus... Extend, extend, grab, turn. Am I doing any of this right? This part, sure. Cool. This procedure, I think, twice more, right? Uh, you got all confused. What do you think you were doing? 
I copied the wrong thing. So hang on, it was fine up to there? Uh, no, I copied the wrong thing. So like this, I think. Air. 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 You're now a problem. I can't get that through here. So I'll have to extend my track. Um... There's also the problem of, like, I have to deal with you eventually. Okay, so I have to deal with you eventually. How? I have some ideas. I don't think any of them quite work, though. Okay, so for getting this around, unless I'm going to move this, which I don't know where I'd move it, I definitely, absolutely need more track. Hey. So let's, like, release, plus, extend, grab, left. Can that work? No. I can pivot left from there, though. But wait, hang on. But if I'm here... Yeah, so I guess I just pivot left. Then just awkwardly shuffle that down. So I guess that's a release... Retract, left, left, grab, pivot, right, left. I don't like this. I went too far. That could be my final transmutation. Sounds pretty reasonable. So that'd be uh, another... Pivot, extend, reset. Uh, and I can take out one transmutation, right? Let's watch carefully. Is it that same one that ends up on there? No, it's a different one. You know what? Let's not bother. I don't need to. Uh, okay, so that's not, uh, not not exactly where I thought it was. Um, that means I need a release, left, grab, extend, reset. Okay, sure. So yeah, I made a product. Doesn't mean anything though, because now you're going to get another key and collide with the existing one. So here's what should probably happen. That key, if it exists, gets pulled out of here. Yeah, this can work. Oh, it's going to be super awkward, but it can totally be made to work. Yes. Okay. Uh, so that key, if it exists, gets pulled out and stashed, like, down here. This gets stashed two to the left of where it is. Sure, that'll calcify a fire, but that doesn't matter. 
uh, so that just this atom is over top of that. Well, so if you want, I don't have the room to do this. Hmm. Am I sure? Okay, so let's just write this over here. And pretend. That I can somehow. Alright. Can write it real inefficiently, don't worry about it. Okay, so maybe don't extend that far. Okay, so maybe you retract before you rotate. That's there. Extra retract. I can delete that. I need a grab. Okay, so if that's there, my grab is there. Yeah, I see the problem that's going to occur. Does this at least fit where I want to put it? It does. So I want this to overwrite the incoming reagent. Now the problem is I have no way to move this. There is zero room to get an extra arm into this puzzle. It would have to be one that translates from here, like sits here, grabs this and pulls it down that way. Absolutely sure I cannot have an arm that's capable of doing that. I'm not. I think it's tough, but I think it might be possible. Like if it has a little hideout down here, where it can get away from everybody, I think I can have you dodge these two spaces. Yeah, alright. Um, yeah, so cost is obviously just completely out the window here. So is cycle count. I am, and <laughs> so is instruction count. <laughs> I'm optimizing for nothing but get the puzzle done. That's all I'm interested in, the, in at this point. I think this is an interesting way to do it, and I think it will work as long as I can slide this out of here. Okay, so you're a new arm on a new track that goes like this. First of all, where will I collide with that arm? Maybe I won't. Maybe I'm already set up so I don't have to. I am. Cool. Okay, great. Uh, so at this point, arm number two, uh, you can be plussing right around then, I think. Grab minus minus. So you slide that. Hmm. 
you've slid this in here. You're going to like extend or something? Wait, no, you, you need another of these. And you need to do that a little later. Maybe a little later than that still. I'm not sure yet. Yes. Okay, you calcified more. It's fine. As long as there's a fire and an air, you still have to wait one more. That's fine. As long as you have one of each, that's all you need, and it'll all normalize when I twirl this across here and turn it into salt. Okay. What's this going to accomplish? Hold on, how do I have two dudes right now? Shouldn't I have just one? Where'd the second one come from? Well, I had to pull one out of here to reset, but when did that happen? Um, okay, this is very confusing. I had a plan that I thought worked, but suddenly looking at the state of this board, it doesn't look like that anymore? Sure, you just popped right back up. So I have to get you out of there. What? What am I doing? This doesn't make any sense. Wouldn't I want to do this whole shuffle? Yeah, okay, so it's actually a lot simpler than this. Um, I want to do this whole shuffle. At the time at which I'm transferring my my dude here to the output. Okay, that makes a lot more sense, I think. That way, I don't have to do anything extra on the initial step. I think I can just... Okay, so right here. You'd slide that left. You'd move this over there. Oh, and you actually become quite a bit simpler then, don't you? Maybe. Yeah, all I have to do is slide this back into that slot. Get this one around it. Okay, that's where your sliding motion there is going to come in. Yeah, so now that I've input all that, let's throw it all away and... Oh... Can't slide this out that way. Can I slide this in while you are sitting there. Maybe. Probably. Yeah, sure. Why not? That should work. Yeah, right now. Right now. Just slide this back in. Okay. Uh, number two. Right, where's, where's my uh, instruction pointer? Here it is. So before you do that, everything from here on moves out somewhere. Okay, so number two. You be sliding. Yes, that calcifies. It's completely fine for that to happen. Okay, so you slid. Um... 
two can probably take over for this, and one can uh, try and handle that. Right, if I release, right, grab, minus, minus, pivot that way or something. Like, one's got to wait until that's out of the way anyway. It could work on moving it. It's already gripped on. It has the instructions for it, doesn't it? So why would I have you do a job that you're already set up to do so nicely? Um, here, probably? That's fine. Now you just need to go grab this and put it back in place. Now I'm going to have two calcified dudes on there. I might have to do some rotation of this to make sure that's not a problem, but I can, uh, I can manage that. As long as it ends up in the same orientation each time and I have an air and a fire to use for duplication here, that's fine. Yeah, so the key stays the same. I pull this out once and leave it forever. So that reagent comes out at the beginning of the machine and just sticks around as part of the machine. Okay, so you did a reset, I understand. You need another minus and extend. Actually, there's a more efficient way to do this. Because you don't need to retract extend. Alright, where does that put everybody? You need another right for one thing. Yes, you calcified, that's fine. I think if I just reset... It's plausible that will work. It's likely it won't because I probably need to manage which things get calcified here differently, but let's see what it does. So you grabbed a fire, which has remained a fire. That's a very good sign. I could make this first part of this program more efficient by dragging that over the calcifier with those. Um, I don't feel the need to, but I could. Okay, and you're using that air. Okay, I think I'm actually good here. Neat. <laughs> yeah, so I just kind of had to fool my reset instruction into picking up an already existing set of atoms instead of a new one from the reagents. Okay, that's pretty neat. Um, arm number two, are you being used to your fullest? Do you need that entire track? Yeah, you're using the whole thing. Sure, I'm okay with this. So there were definitely a lot of different ways to do that. I was thinking of this whole approach where I like calcify one thing and then have it sort of chase around the ring. I think that was an alternate approach that would have been I'm not sure it would have been viable. Because, like, as soon as I lose one, I don't know, I feel like I lose the ability to alternate. Um, yeah, I optimized for nothing here, and it shows. <laughs> so this is, like, the highest I've ever been in a cost graph, and I'm not optimizing for cycles. Um, hold on, pause. Um, yeah, so the whole thing where, like, as soon as I calcify one thing here... And like if I want to, you know, just shift everything over, I have to lose one in that process at the beginning. I guess, let's see. So let's just imagine this. So I'd calcify air, inherit fire from here. So calcify this fire, inherit air from here. This becomes this fire, this becomes this air, this becomes this fire. But then I have a fire here and no way to insert air in this position. So yeah, I could m I could rotate it, but I'd end up with a salt all by itself. Yeah, the final one to be filled in 
would have nothing to fill it in. So no matter what, I would absolutely have to involve two of these. Okay, so this was perhaps the conventional solution then. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, I don't think the whole rotational chasing thing was ever going to work. Just because... Just because the last one can't be filled in. So yeah, you always will need two. Unless... Unless you, like, went through the center, so, like, turn this into an elemental atom. And use that to fill in the last one. But then how would you calcify this? It could be done. Yeah, you could do a rotation that, uh, you know, like a fully extended piston arm could do a rotation where only the center would ever land on a calcification glyph and all of the outside ones get to dodge it because they'd be in transit and like only halfway over it. Yeah, that'd be possible. So I didn't think of going through the center until the very end. Okay, neat. Cool puzzle, uh, probably other different interesting ways to do it. Neat, that one was really pretty nifty. All right, good stuff. Uh, see you next time for Conductive Enamel.